yet another edition of Lunchtime Live, coming to you from the campus of California State University, San Bernardino. For the next hour, you are going to hear some phenomenal music from one of San Bernardino, Riverside, or San Diego County's greatest local bands. Today, we are delighted to be joined in studio here today with the band Beat, Sexy Beat, from Riverside. So without further ado, here is your host for Lunchtime Live, Misha Sisakin. Misha! All right. Thank you, Lacey. Morning, guys. Good morning. Man, I, I don't know. I just like saying your name. Beat Sexy Beat. I mean, any any reason to say sexy, I guess, is a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's start off on the let's start off on the right path. And can I have you introduce yourselves, please? All right. I'm Chris. I play drums. I'm Nate. I play guitar. I'm Nadi. I sing. Fadi. I play synth. My name is Nico, and I play bass. <laughs> All right. And you guys call Highland pretty much home, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And we're from like. All around, but we, like our bases in Highland. Yeah, all right. garages in Highland. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, think I think that's how it works. Yeah. I think that's that's the uh, staple of a local band. The garage is where everything. That's the hub, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Sounds better than that. <laughs> exactly. Those acoustics, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Awesome. Now, of course, we got to talk about your name, Beat Sexy Beat. <laughs> What's going on there? Because, I mean, that's a catchy name, of course. It makes you stop and go, wait, what? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I think Chris, Chris, is, Chris yeah. has a story about it. All right, Chris. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, our music had a good beat, and we wanted it to be really sexy, and then we wanted three words, so we just repeated the first. <laughs> I mean, that's All right. pretty much how we stuck with it. I think, like, our sound is, like, a very sexy sound. Okay. okay. Yeah, we like you know, we like to make statement. yeah. Well, I mean, come on. We like, we like to make people dance. Yeah. So what's sexier than dancing? <laughs> there right? you go. You need that so beat. You need that beat you need too. Two beats. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's right. So, <laughs> sexy beat. Go. Sexy is a little too much sexy. <laughs> so. So, I don't think so. Can you have too much sexy? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it out sometime. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if if it doesn't work under this, which it sounds yeah, like it it's working, work. but I mean, you always have that option. So yeah. restart, <laughs> new name, no one will know. <laughs> right on, right on. Now, is this what you guys do full time, or you guys got regular jobs during the day? Um, some of us go to school. Yeah. School, okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I mean, I go to UCR. Okay. Me yeah. too. And then Nico also goes to uh, UCR as well. Right on. Yeah. It's more like a side project right now, I think, for for most of us. But mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully in the future it'll, you know. Full time, full yeah. time for all of us. Is, isn't, that's, I think that's everyone's dream. Yeah, of course. Now, okay, how long have you guys been together? Because that's, uh, I mean, just it, it sounds like you guys are really tight knit on the recordings and everything. But how long has it been? Well, collectively, we've um, been together since August of last year. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Pretty recent, pretty new band. But I mean, yeah. me and Fadi have been playing together for a while, and we met mm -hmm. Nate and Nick along the way. Yeah. So, so like so. shuffling of band members, but okay, since so August, it's yeah. this has been. Yeah. The group, the final okay. set. <laughs> How would you describe your sound? Because it, there's, I mean, there's a de there's definitely some sort of there's a hybrid going on there. How would you describe it? Uh, what you talking about? Wants to say it. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me take over. As a genre, I think we. Oh, just anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna say, hey, this is beat sexy beats music, how would you describe it? And we pull from a lot of different influences. Not, I mean, each of us listens to their own like type of music, mm -hmm. own genre of music. I think collectively we've decided to call it like stadium dance rock. Okay. <laughs> Just because it's not exactly the type of music you'd play at like a, a coffee shop. Let's 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 let the uh, listeners and viewers, because this is a weird show. <laughs> let's let them be the judge of that. Uh, we're gonna get right into the first track here, which is called Lust and Arson. We're gonna listen to it, then we'll get a little bit of story behind it. But this is Lust and Arson by Beat Sexy Beat here on Lunchtime Live. Stay tuned. That was Less Than Arson by Beat Sexy Beat here on Lunchtime Live. We're coming at you from the campus of Cal State San Bernardino, and we're glad you guys can join us today. Now, okay, let's talk about that song, because there's a lot of different elements in there. Uh, was there an inspiration towards that, or take us through the process? 
Mm. And that was like one of the first first songs we did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they actually made the instrumentals before I was part of the band. Okay. And then once I joined, just wrote the lyrics, and it was mm-hmm. kind of like a it's almost like a, like a throwaway song. It was like a tryout song. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, you sound pretty good. You seem like a cool guy here. Come back with lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So I just wrote lyrics for it, and uh, and it is what it is now. Okay. So. Okay. Now, do you collectively write as a band, or is it more of an individual process, or we write song, all our songs together? Okay. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. song though, it's it's always been kind of like, I don't know, like I never, I don't want to say I didn't really like it, but <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, just like, did. It's not his well, it, yeah, it wasn't that. I didn't okay. feel like it was like the you know the greatest song or whatever. Uh-huh. But like we because we made it with like another you know bass player, not Nico. Oh, okay, you know? okay. And um, I don't yeah, know, he kind of took over the song, and I kind of had to work around him. Oh, uh, you know? okay, yeah, yeah. So then, but then it really changes like the dynamic, and I didn't really, I don't know, it was a very strange song. It's different, yeah. Yeah, but then when uh, we kind of hooked up with you know this band that we have now, mm-hmm. it kind of like changed drastically. Yeah, and it became yeah. way more energetic. Yeah, way more like upbeat, mm-hmm. uh, kind of like an al- alternative rock feel, mm-hmm. but more of like it has like very um like trans uh, trans vibe. Like, yeah, that's end. why I was using the term yeah. hybrid because you you have that real rock influence, but at the same time you got that trans yeah. sort of yeah. bordering techno and I yeah, think it's exactly. A, one of the things that makes us different is just that we have a synth lead. Like yeah. basically, it's really synth based yes, music, yes. and I think that's what really differentiates it from like. Standard alternative rock or standard absolutely standard rock. Yeah. no that really helps it to stand yeah. out because you pop yeah. that disc in and you're going oh, okay it's a good beat so, oh where'd that synth come yeah, from it just wow drops. Yeah. yeah it drops into like a very like trans sexy segment yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah well we're gonna leave everyone hanging right here that anticipation because we're gonna take a quick break but we're gonna get back and we're gonna find out a little bit about what you do live so you're listening to an interview here with Beat Sexy Beat Beat excuse me on Lunchtime Live stay tuned. Coming to you from the campus of California State University, San Bernardino. Today we're joined in studio by Highland's very own Beat Sexy Beat. So here again is your host, Misha Sisakin. Misha. All right, thanks, Lace. Or as I call them, apparently Beat Sexy Beak or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's another option what for is you. That? I don't. I don't know. I don't think we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, we're back here with Beat Sexy Beat and we're learning a whole lot about them and I think we're having a good time. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. I just want to mention something. Yeah. Uh, Lace, you have a very soothing voice. <laughs> yeah, Thank very you. soothing. Thank the, you. Those advertisements are just silky smooth. <laughs> Thanks. This is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> I'm so flattered. Thanks. Oh, don't be bad. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the veteran. It's Lacey's first day, but she's doing a phenomenal job here. <laughs> Thanks. You're a great teacher. Oh, I try. I try. Thanks. Anyway. Let's get back into it, because mm-hmm. uh, we were talking about tangents during the break, and I think I'm going off on one, but... <laughs> that was my fault, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. Now, 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 let's get into... Before we get into the live portion of your guys' set, or dynamic, we'll call it, what do you do with the recording process? Do you guys record your own stuff, or do you go into the studio? Uh, record our own stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're using, a, you know, GarageBand and... Just a mm-hmm. little uh, audio box, and you guys are getting some phenomenal results wow. out of that. Wow, yeah. <laughs> we are the yeah. definition yeah. of crowd. Yeah. 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 yeah, we do what we can to make it sound the best. Yeah, with like the tools we have and the knowledge we have. I mean, we're not sound engineers, but mm-hmm. we try to you know get the best sound. Yeah, so yeah. You could only try and try and try. Yeah, know? no, and that's it, it, trial and error, of course. Yeah. But I mean, w- with what you got, with the equipment you have, I mean, it's the sound coming out of there is pretty good. So. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank Pat you. yourself's on the back, <laughs> that's for sure. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Nate took the bait. Yeah, okay. Nate, he's, yeah. Yeah. he's the was, dude. Yeah, 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 was the yeah he took care of, of it. Yeah, yeah, okay. He was definitely yeah. in charge okay, right of that. Nate's the engineer, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, so you guys have, you guys do have an album out, correct? Or is so it? So I got a five song EP. Okay, so yeah. it is an EP, okay. Yeah. Um, you have plans for the future, of course. I'm oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. Cool. But 
Okay, now you guys are there's you're very synth heavy, so of course I have to ask that question. Being a keyboardist myself, I want to know: are those is that are those real synths or are those samples? I'm yeah, sure. I mean we make yeah. up our own. Like I make up my own sounds, like on yeah. the, what I can from like the the tools mm-hmm. you know on there. Also, want to start getting like you know start using MIDI and stuff because yeah. you could really expand your sound. Absolutely. So that's uh, something I want to start doing. Okay, right on. Now, do you guys have any other unusual instruments or vintage stuff or? Uh, yeah. Um, Nico is playing uh, 1977 Bandmaster. Really? We, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's Fender Bandmaster. Uh huh. Or I'm sorry, Bassmaster. Mm-hmm. And uh, the I had an Amtec go over it and um, basically modify the bass section mm-hmm. to uh, to um, be able to adapt to the lower frequencies and yeah. the output and everything. Right. And you know, replace all the capacitors and whatever okay. components that <laughs> get all technical. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a <laughs> geek, guy. geek. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Sounds great. Yeah. So, that's all. Well, yeah. let's let's let everyone else be the judge of that because we're going to jump into another track and hear all this great stuff put together. This one's called Autopilot. Again, we'll listen. We'll get some more information. This is Autopilot by Beat Sexy Beat here on Lunchtime Live. That's a tongue twister, but stay tuned. I think that was the end of the song. <laughs> I had to get that little stab in there. <laughs> All right. We're talking yeah. with Beat Sexy Beat here on Lunchtime Live, and that was Autopilot. Now, is there a story behind that song, or is it just more of a straightforward song? Mm. I think that's, that was, that's just like our up-tempo, like, mm-hmm. in-your-face, like, trance. Yeah, just get it started. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like the first sh- first song we play at shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Just, you know, get, I think that's the mood going. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. No. Uh, <laughs> that's hey, like stop, a, stop fighting over there. Like, <laughs> everyone can talk. Sorry. Uh, this is like a really, really, um, what do you call it? Old song, I guess. Uh-huh. Not, well, yeah, it was, I, guess I mean, it was mine and, mine and yours first song yeah. we wrote like way back when. Just mm-hmm. just like the chorus and little yeah. pieces here. Yeah. I mean, that's why it's very like synth based because yeah. like it was just the drummer and the synthesizer. Yeah. So then it's like, um, I had to make like the, the bass mm-hmm. and the lead you know mm-hmm. and that's why you have like octaves like a lot of octaves yeah, but then yeah. it kind of just strays away from those octaves it doesn't stick to like you know just basic octave jumps right right it has like you know like a in the chorus it has like that you know no, which I, like yeah. I love you know and it no, makes that's, it that's a good lead yeah, yeah. And it, make, it makes it like really trancey yeah and like when I when I say trance I like to I used to listen to like really early like trance like uh like 90s oh you man know, like yeah can you sing some for us huh can you sing some for us no yeah. And then, like when hmm. we, you know, we met up with everyone else, you know, we put some bass to really like accentuate, like you know, that bass note to make it more like yeah. pump, you know. Mm-hmm. And then um, the guitar to really sprinkle on top, you know, that uh, sprinkle yeah. guitar. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. There's like an echo guitar if you yeah. hear it, but in the chorus, which really like makes it kind of full. Accentuates kind of, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really like puts the. The knot, or what do you call it? The bow on top, yeah. <laughs> Cherry, on, Cherry top. on top. There you go. The knot works. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's a present, it's a Sunday, yeah. I don't know. There's something on top of it. Let's jump into the live stuff now, because you guys have some great recordings down. Now, you play live shows, correct? You're out there right. doing some shows? Okay. Right. All right. Uh, you guys playing shows regularly? Uh, I mean, as much as you can, obviously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. as much okay. as we can. Okay. Uh, and you can, can you recreate this sound that you have in the studio live? Exactly. Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's Definitely. one of our mission statements, I guess. Yeah. Okay. To like play everything in the recording live. And we want mm-hmm. to give people as authentic and genuine of a show as we mm-hmm. can. So mm-hmm. I mean, if we're good, shortchanging good. them through like like post production, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Then you know we can't do that. Yeah. Nothing's pre recorded. Yeah. Yeah. I like um, I don't do any like um, patterns or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I, I just like play everything live. All like the notes you hear are are played live. You know, okay. like in the recording, they're like they're not uh, MIDI or yeah, anything. Yeah. So I can't like track them. Like I can't like uh, what do you call it? Layer. Yeah, not layer them, but like 
put them exactly to a grid. Right. You know, so right. it's like it's more free form, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's mistakes, but I think the mistakes kind of makes it more human. Yeah. Like yeah. Dave Grohl said, it's yeah. a more the human touch. Yeah. Like in the Grammy acceptance speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. It touched I, me. I agree. Yeah, that was me. yeah. It, yeah. Kind of pretty much. It sounded like he was talking stuff on a electronic community. Yeah, so, uh, it was kind of. <laughs> and what was that? LMFAO was introduced right after, or some, there's a song <laughs> that introduced yeah. it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was pretty funny. Huh? Okay, <laughs> that, that, that's that's <laughs> something about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that you guys keep it real like that, and that you acknowledge that mistakes are just human, and that's I mean you don't rely on machines. That's a good. Right. I mean yeah. you're playing through a machine, but yeah. It's, yeah, you're not letting it take over. It's like kind of like good. Daft Punk. You know, they're yeah. they're robots, but with a human. all right with that we're going to take another quick break and we're going to keep chatting because we're having a great time here this is beat sexy beat here on lunchtime live artist or a band or if you know of a great artist or band that we should be playing or speaking with here on Coyote Radio and certainly on Lunchtime Live, be sure to let us know about it. Write to us at CR Music. That's the letters C R and then music at CSUSB.edu. CR Music at CSUSB.edu. This is Lunchtime Live coming to you from Cal State San Bernardino. Today we're joined in studio by Beat Sexy Beat from Highland. Without further ado, here again is your host, Misha Sesakan. Misha. Thank you, Lacey. All right, now we're back. I think we feel we know each other a little bit better, correct? Definitely. <laughs> we're best friends. Yeah, oh, best. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Hey, I didn't go there, but hey, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Making new friends every day. <laughs> Right, before the break, we were just kind of talking about your live shows and what you guys do. Now, do you you play do you play more regular shows or do you do any like charitable events? Uh, is it a mix? What's up with that? Well, we play uh, more just regular shows, but we have mm-hmm. played one char- charitable event. Okay. We played a we were the entertainment actually for uh, <laughs> it's a HCO. It's like this health career organization mm-hmm. group, and it was like. Pretty much for the kids, I guess. Okay. I mean, it sounds like silly, but it was. It was like, <laughs> hey, it's never yeah, it was silly, for yeah. kids with, uh, I think it was autism. Yeah. And yeah. I think like um, when we got there, it was like, whoa, kind of hit us. Mm-hmm. We're actually doing something for like with meaning. Yeah. You know, we're not just playing some yeah. other show. Yeah. Yeah. It was like with meaning, and then I think it really hit like Chris like really well. I mean, I'm, you know, it struck mm-hmm. a chord with Chris. Cause yeah, because my, my little sister's autistic, so oh, yeah. okay. it's pretty cool to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I bet. It was right pretty. On. It was a good show. Yeah. yeah, awesome. We played yeah. a lot of other places, but I think that one, it was the one where we were like, we had the most, imp- it had the most impact yeah. on all of us. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Nice. we'd love to do more. So. Yeah. yeah, right on. Yeah. No, good for you guys. Uh, you're willing to give back. That's always a good thing. Yeah. Now, do you have any special ways that you get ready for shows? Do you have any rituals? You <laughs> chants? I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, not like a ritual or anything, but for our last show, uh-huh. what we did was like we played. Uh, have an acoustic set, yeah. like just in the back room. Oh, okay. Acapella. Yeah. 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 Acapella, yeah. Acapella, yeah. everything. Acapella. Yeah. It was we really cool, actually. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's weirder than you would think because Fadi plays synth, which yeah. needs to be plugged in, needs amp, but he yeah. was just sitting there going, click, click, click. <laughs> click, 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 click. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd, I'd hum everything. Yeah, yeah. Which is crazy. It's, it was so hard. I didn't know, like, my parts were so, like, um, demanding, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're I was like, like, what did I write? Yeah, I was like running out yeah. of breath, like, yeah. especially for autopilot. There's just nothing. Like, it's just straight. Like, and yeah. just, like Chris oh is God. like drumming on his lap. Yeah. 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 Got kind of pain. That's cool. <laughs> that was, that was really the only time I was happy really to have well a deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bass player, right? Uh, yeah, uh, it was funny, too, because he's like, but up, but up. It worked out well, though. It was funny. It kind of loosens it. Yeah. Loosen it up. Yeah. No, just have fun with it. Yeah. Those in... And some beer. There you go. <laughs> Can't go wrong there, can yeah. you? <laughs> Just like practice, right? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't get much done in practice if we yeah, were drinking. Yeah, it's, okay, it's, a, right. it's a family home. We're kind of ch- yeah. All right, fair to, enough. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. PG-13. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Let, we're going to jump into another track, and we're going to see if we can expand off of this one as well. This one's called Heart of Gold. Again, we'll listen. Ooh, we'll like get some one. information. Oh, well, This is our favorite. I think we're going to like it, too, yeah. then. This is the, the radio hit, I think. <laughs> yeah? You'd call it the radio hit. All right. 
Well, this one's Heart of Gold by Beat Sexy Beat on Lunchtime Live. That was Heart of Gold by Beat Sexy Beat. And that was a pretty good track. I mean, it's got a lot of different elements in there. Again, the synth's heavy, but, I mean, it, it works. I love listening to that song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are nice to each other. That's good. <laughs> now, okay, while we're on that topic, I want each of you to think about it. You can look at each other. I mean, you know, we don't, whatever you want to do. But think about what makes working with this group so different and so unique and that's something that's special to you and that's i don't know who wants to who wants to start that because you want nico you want to start that let's do sure. it all right all right well i guess i could start off with a brief history i'm meeting fadi um i met in the dorms of gcr <laughs> mm-hmm. and you UCR? yeah and uh <laughs> i don't know just uh I've always been into electronic music, and we're into this, a lot of the same kind of music, like 80s, dance, electronic, mm-hmm. indie. indie, alternative, all like alternative <laughs> <laughs> funk, disco, disco, oh, especially disco. Yeah, di- oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, just it's, it's natural that our chemistry is so strong, you know, just because we have a lot of the same influences. And so working with them, you know, it's really easy. And mm-hmm. it's, um, kind of just expanding to everyone else you know everyone puts their input yeah and you know whether we all have the same taste or not like we said earlier it's just the fact that we're all you know open to each other's differences Mm -hmm. and all that sort of is kind of the important thing all right did i take everyone's no no no, you guys still got okay let's continue on down the line then Fadi. yeah uh pretty much like what nico said it's like each member has a certain relationship with each member so like nico says like we have all those influences Mm -hmm. with each other that's like one certain wavelength and then Mm -hmm. i have like one with naughty that Mm -hmm. i'm developing and then one with Mm -hmm. nate and chris Mm -hmm. and then that's all different but Mm -hmm. then we have like an overlaying wavelength between all each other that i mean between each other that connects you know what i mean so then it's like Mm -hmm. influence i know he nate likes a certain influence i know like Naughty likes a certain influence, mm-hmm. and then I'll kind of work off that. I'll work off this, so it's just, it all comes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right on. Fadi, yeah. you want to add? I mean, um, Naughty, <laughs> not Fadi, <laughs> Naughty. Yeah. You know, everyone. Yeah, all these. Yeah, I I right next to each other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you did that on purpose, huh? All right, Naughty. Just, yeah. I think every like each of them are such great musicians in their own right. Yeah, and like oh. I mean, like thank you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it just makes it so much easier to, you know, play off of them or like, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm singing, but yeah, <laughs> easier to sing off of them or yeah. create melodies off of that. Yeah. Um, I mean, when you're surrounded by guys who know what they're doing mm-hmm. and who are passionate about it and driven, mm-hmm. it just makes the creative process so much easier and so much more um, like synergistic. Yeah. Almost. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Nate, really quickly, and then we'll get to Chris. Yeah. I mean, just everything that they've said, you know, we all kind of mesh together and, mm-hmm. you know, we have kind of all just bonded and it's more of like a brotherhood and it's a family yeah yeah, yeah so it's like a frat right on <laughs> yeah. chris thoughts i mean i see the one minute mark so i'm pretty much just gonna say ditto, <laughs> <laughs> you know, ditto yeah aspects, i, mean, I like that yeah. covered it good response well, yeah so. no right on i i could we could see it here there's a good group dynamic here and you guys you guys definitely have the sound that's for sure i think the most important thing is that we get along all right in the little bit of time that we have left where can people find mo- out more about beat sexy beat um you can find us on facebook.com mm-hmm. forward slash beat sexy beat mm-hmm. and also um beatsexybeat.com yeah beatsexybeat.com yeah. okay. okay. we're trying to make all of our uh, songs available mm-hmm. to everyone and mm-hmm. we're trying to keep it for free, free as long as possible oh, okay so, right on yeah. yeah future albums included okay Down well it, there's nothing to lose yeah <laughs> all right yeah, spread the word we sure will a whole bunch well, of shows coming up so good yeah. just check yeah. those sites check yeah. Yeah. all right yeah. Find everything. awesome well thank you so much to beat sexy b for coming in wish you nothing but the best in the future thanks for having us thanks. all right thank thanks you. appreciate it yeah. awesome. all right come back and visit soon all right lace
Thanks again going out to our guests today in the studio here at Coyote Radio. Beat Sexy Beat from Highland. We thank them for joining us. Be sure and be with us again next week on radio and on television for Lunchtime Live. And let us know about bands that you would like to see on future episodes of this program. In the meantime, remember to support the musical artists of your neighborhood. For the Academic Computing and Media Department at Cal State San Bernardino, as well as the entire staff of Coyote Radio and Lunchtime Live, I'm Lacey Kendall. You have a great week.